Hey guys, my name is Boris. I'm a board certified physician assistant working in medically supervised weight loss. And today I'm answering a question from Lennox asking, how do I get leaner? Is riding my bike and running good? So basically the question is, do I need cardio to get lean? The easy answer to that is no, absolutely not. So last summer when I was trying to get into the best shape of my life, when I was trying to get as lean as possible, I wouldn't say it was the healthiest shape of my life because I felt like crap, but I did get very lean. The photos, you know, prove that. And so basically this person is asking, can I achieve these results or even better, uh, you know, by doing a bunch of cardio? My answer to that is no. Uh, to be perfectly honest, when I was doing this, when I was getting lean, I used almost no cardio. I lifted heavy weights as heavy as I could, which was getting more and more difficult as my uh, caloric deficit progressed and I was getting leaner and more tired and lower on energy. Uh, but either way, I got my butt to the gym, sometimes very late at night, sometimes very early in the morning, whenever I had time, that was the key, consistency and also diet. So basically, my formula was diet, 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 lifting, 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 very little cardio. Uh, the trainer that I talked to, I, uh, I worked with a trainer maybe two or three times during this whole process. She did tell me, you know, if you want to get really lean, you should probably do cardio just 20 minutes, a couple times a day every single day while you're getting lean, that should help you. Uh, it's not really a scientific reason, it's basically just to calories in, calories out, just give you more calories to play with. So that way, if you make diet mistakes, you know, that cardio kind of eats that up a little bit. If you eat more than you should, the cardio helps you with that. Also, you're able to make it, uh, have an easier time getting your protein in because you need a lot of protein. You have an easier time getting your protein in without you know cutting too too many calories otherwise so the cardio just gives you that cushion but honestly you don't really need it if your diet is dialed in if your lifting is dialed in for me personally i didn't use cardio at all uh, so just to break this down a little bit more and it give you actually hard numbers so unless you get metabolic testing like i did and like we do at the weight loss clinic that i work at you're really kind of shooting in the dark you're really don't know how many calories you need. You don't really know what to shoot for, your protein goals, your carbohydrate goals, your fat goals, your macro, you know, macronutrient goals like that, your calorie goals. The most important thing is your calorie goals, total calories in for the day. You don't know that without actually having hard numbers and knowing how many calories you burn. Some people, believe it or not, even big muscular people have very slow metabolisms. And some people who you would never believe have very fast metabolisms. Why that is, you know, nobody knows. But I've seen a huge, huge variety in resting metabolic rate. So for instance, mine, when I was getting as lean as I was that you see in the pictures, uh, my resting metabolic rate was like 1400 calories. That's very, very low. I had a very slow metabolism. I haven't measured it since. I'd actually be very curious to measure it now to see if it's gotten faster. But at that time, it was incredibly low, which means I had to eat almost nothing. That being said, I still had to get my protein in. You know, the rule is 0.8 to 1.0 grams of protein per pound of body weight, or some people say per pound of ideal body weight. So my ideal body weight was like 150. I think I got down to like 168 was the lowest I could go. And then I just felt like crap long enough that I was like, screw this, I'm done. 168 is as lean as I go. But my goal was 160. So I was getting about 150, 160 grams of protein per day. With that and so few calories burned, it's actually very hard to get anything else in there. And like I've said in other videos, because I was basically eating only protein, essentially no carbs and very little fat, my hormones got shut right down. I felt horrible. There were sexual side effects. There was mood side effects. Energy level was down. Like everything was just crappy. And I would never recommend that to anybody. So that's why I always say, make sure you get your protein, but also make sure you get your healthy fats in. So avocados, olive oil, you know, some cheeses, not too much dairy, but some cheeses, you know, make sure not the leanest meats, you're not just eating super lean meats, but you're getting some chicken fat in there, some beef fat, whatever it may be. Salmon is fantastic, you know, that's very healthy fat. Some nuts, things like that. Make sure you're getting healthy fats in as well as your protein. But the answer is, just to bring this all home, do you need cardio while you're getting lean? Absolutely not. Is it helpful? Yeah, if you have time, if you enjoy it, it's definitely very helpful. Uh, but most importantly, protein and lifting weights. That is the most important thing to getting lean and most importantly, when you get lean, actually looking decent. Because if you get to a low body fat percentage and you don't have any muscle, you're gonna look horrible. You're gonna look skinny fat, even though you're you know, not fat, you're skinny, but you're just, you're not gonna look good. There's not gonna be any definition there. 
even if you're very lean, if you don't have any muscle mass. So the most important things for getting lean are diet, being at a caloric deficit, but also getting your protein and also getting your lifting and your strength training. It doesn't have to be super heavy, but make sure you get consistent strength training, which keep your muscles nice and toned. So when you get lean, you actually look decent, you know? So is uh, cardio good? Yeah, it's okay. Just don't overdo it. Uh, is it necessary? Absolutely not. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions.